we are going to learn how to revive low voltage lithium ion cells using three methods. As you can see, I have a cell that is 3.3 volts and one that is around one volt. The first method is to connect the low voltage and the standard voltage cell in parallel. So you put the positive and the positive, just like I'm doing here, and the negative to the negative. What this is going to do is to allow the current to flow between the two. This is not the best way because you're going to be charging it too fast. You're going to be charging that low voltage cell much too fast, so it's not the preferred method. A much more preferred method is this second version, where you have some type of charger, you're going to connect the cell up, positive and negative, you just need a way to connect to the cell. The low voltage on a lithium ion cell is around 2.5 volts and if we try and charge it with a lithium ion charge like I'm doing here the screen is kinda hard to see so I apologize for that but we're gonna do a lithium ion cell we're gonna charge it at 1.2 volts and we're gonna try and charge it and there's an error when you try to charge it with lithium ion the reason for that error is that it's too low voltage to actually charge so if we go to a NIM H charge we can actually charge it with a very low charge. We're gonna use 0.2 volts, and we're gonna go ahead and charge it. It's going to check, and as you can see, it's actually going to charge. And you'll be able to see the voltage increase here, and the voltage is gonna to increase to around 2.5 volts. You wanna get it up to 2.5 or 2.6 volts using this method. It's not gonna take very long, maybe one to two minutes if you're using a 0.1 or 0.2 amps it's going to be very quick and then once you charge it to just over 2.5 volts then you're going to transition back to the lithium ion charger and then continue to charge it there now remember when we're reviving low voltage lithium ion cells an important thing to remember is essentially anything under 500 millivolts is going to be unsalvageable or be very iffy. If it's 0.1 volts or 100 millivolts or below, throw it away or recycle it. If it's 100 to 500 millivolts, it's going to be iffy. But anything from around 600 millivolts to you know, all the way up to 2 volts, it comes back pretty easily and it's not going to have that much damage to the cell. Anything above two volts can generally just be charged with the lithium ion charger and isn't considered uh, too low voltage. Anything under 2.5, you're getting into the territory where you really need to start charging that cell again. Once we hit just over 2.5 volts, we're gonna quickly transition back over to the lithium ion and we're gonna charge it at around 0.5C. In this case, it's 1.2 volts, or 1.2 amps, excuse me, and as you can see, we are charging using the lithium ion method. This works extremely well. That is the second method for reviving your low voltage lithium ion cells. Now the third and best method that I would recommend is actually to get some type of charger that will allow you to charge these quickly and easily. So for the third and most preferred method you're going to get something like the XTAR VC4 Plus and you can see we have a cell that's 1.1 volts and we're going to take that and we're going to insert it into the charger and it's going to charge it with NIMH initially and then it's going to transition to lithium ion immediately as you can see there's a red light here indicating that the battery is charging it's that simple on the on a lithium ion charger really the method that we're talking about is we want to use NIMH when it's below voltage and then when it gets to the correct voltage then we use lithium ion Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.